Hello everyone, Civil Majority here, and this is episode 9 of the Old Miner. And as you can see, we were just where we left off the next yesterday. See, I have my clock on the top, so I can't cheat. There's my clock in the upper right corner. So you can't see, I see I'm not cheating, it's just literally seconds after. Um, like I said, I'm backlogging some videos. I don't usually like to do this, I like to put some time between the videos and actually play by myself. That way, when I come back, things change dramatically. But, a bit busy. I've got some projects coming up that I have to focus on. And, uh, Archimedes ships. So, banking ships. Huh. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've got some, uh, things I'm going to have to do, some housework that has to be done. And, uh, just don't have won't have the time to be able to do the videos like I want to. So anyway, I'm looking at the website right now. You can't see it because I'm actually I don't have it set up on Twitter or on my feed. But I'm looking at uh, Archimedes Ships site or uh, forum page to get to know how oh, how this mod works. So, I'm looking at the parts we need. To get the ship working, we're going to need the helm. It's the ship marker. It's the main block to create ships. It's made with four wood planks, four wood sticks, and a piece of iron. Uh, you'll need measurement gauges. Which will, one gauge will show you point direction north, the other one is a speed, which is equal to 80 kilometers per hour. Now to make that, we'll need two glass panes, two iron, uh, redstone, and two gold. Which looks like it goes right onto the helm. Okay. The extended gauge block, there's an extended one for airships, so this is the one we're going to need because we're doing an airship. It contains two extra gauges, one for vertical velocity and the other one for height. And that one we need four glass panes. It's basically the same recipe, two iron, two gold, redstone, for it, but we add four glass panes to it. Now, the air balloon is a central block for building airships. 40% of the blocks on a ship should be balloon in order to give a ship ability to fly. Okay, so when we build this ship, 40% of the total blocks of the ship should be air balloons. So if we use 100 blocks to build the ship, then we're going to need 40, uh, 40 of those blocks to be air balloons. And to make it pretty simple, just a piece of wool and a string. Crates grab mobs that walk over. Hmm. Steam engine allows your ship to accelerate. So here's some more required components. We're going to need a steam engine, which will uh, require give it the power to accelerate. Requires burnable fuel like coal or wood. A shore buffer. Simple block that never attaches to ships. That will never attach to ships. Huh. To assemble a ship, we create a ship by. Let's see here. To assemble a simple ship, to create a ship, simply build it as you would build every block, everything in Minecraft. Then it needs a ship helm, which is the main block, and the pilot seat at the same time. Right click on the helm to open its GUI up. And it's got, we'll get to it here. When assembling, none of the following blocks will be considered by default. So these blocks will not be considered by default when building a ship. Dirt, grass, sand, gravel, clay, ice, water, lava, snow, water lily, tall grass, netherrack, soul sand, and tall grass again. Oh, tall, yeah. Yeah, tall grass again. Disassembling ship will override the blocks by default. Tall grass. Make it ascend as X, Z to descend, C to break. Equal align, disassemble as backslash, open to UI with K, okay? We'll keep that up, just in case. So, we're going to build a ship. We talked about this last, and last one, we're going to go ahead and build it. We'll use wood. 
Remember, 60 blocks must be 59 blocks because you got to remember we got to the, uh, whatchamacallit. We're not going to go so much, I don't think. Um, I don't even know where to build this. So we're going to do like this. 50, oops. 59. Pick all this up. It's amazing how much of this actually miss when I'm doing this. All right, there we go. Cool. Should be enough. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hey, you dirty jaybird. I'll be okay. Two, three. Right, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, you know, I don't know these are. Let's see, love. <laughs> Wait, wait, ooh. What is done in the front must be done in the back. For long. There we go. Whatever you do in the front, you must equally do in the back of the ship, too. There we go. Okay, so, now we have our ship. This is our basic ship design. I know it's fabulous, isn't it? It's 59 blocks. Which is exactly what I said it needed to be. Because remember, 6 out of 100 blocks... all this up. Now what we're going to do is make our helm. To do that, we're going to need iron. We're going to need redstone. And like I said, we'll need wood. And we actually need some gold. Well, I'm needing several gold. Actually, and I don't think I've got enough in my smeltery. And I haven't been down mining. Three units. So we'll spawn some gold in for this, and I'll just return it as I find it. So we'll bring in... Ah, that's right, we won't do that, because I do turn... I'm trying to play this so nice. Alright, there we go. We'll bring in 9 gold, 12 gold. There we go. And we'll turn that back off. And that's the problem with backlogging episodes like this. Because you know, you know you need these things and you can't do anything about it. Alright, so we're going to take some sticks, make those. There we go. Alright, so let's bring up our mod. The first thing we need... Oh, I need wool too. First thing we need is this, the ship towel. To build that, we're going to need four uh, pieces of uh, wood plank, four sticks, and a piece of iron. Three, four, and boom. That gives us a helm. We're also going to need, 
This one here, the, these are measurement gauges. It doesn't say advanced or extended. We'll need four pieces of glass pane for this. There are two versions of this, by the way. Oops, over here. We have the basic one here, which two glass panes, two iron, two gold, and a redstone. That'll either way will give it to you. And then we have the advanced one, which is four glass panes, and the rest of it's the same. So the one we're going to do is the four glass pane one. Redstone to the middle. Two iron like so. Two gold like so. And there we go. Cool. Now we need 40 air balloons. And to make that, we'll need wool and we'll need string, which I have neither of enough of. So, like I said, backlogging is never fun because this is what happens. I knew I'd need these things and I don't have them because... Er... Yeah. That's just how it is. So we'll go ahead and bring in 40 wool, which means I'll have to get a sheep farm up and start killing sheep off. Or shearing sheep. Be some another video for us. Because I've never actually worked with the uh, farming stuff in... Um, Um, Mine Factory Reloaded. Interestingly enough. Okay, so. Inventory, we'll turn that back off. Hopefully we don't need this anymore. Getting tired of using it. Really, really is detracting from the game, and I was trying to be very honest. There we go, air balloons. Cool. Okay. Now, we need the uh, motor, or the furnace, or whatever you want to call it. Thing that makes this ship go. Steam engine. Right here. To make that, we'll need iron, eight of them, looks like seven iron, a furnace, and a water bucket. So figure I need something that actually needs a water bucket. Urgh. Luckily for me, I keep a water source always nearby. We need a furnace as well. So, yeah, oh, oops, wrong one. And there we go, steam engine. So let's go back out to our boat, our airship. And figure out how to put this together. We're going to put our engine here at the back. Helm here in the center. Gauges on top. Oh, wait, we're not ready to compile. So I'm wondering if I can go around the boat and that will equal. Oops. Perfect, okay. We'll see if that actually works. Okay, we... Ooh, I need to go get some coal, okay. Now yeah, we can go ahead and we'll name that ship. Floating Plate. There we go. Okay, done renaming. And assemble. Ship okay. We can mount the ship if we want. We don't have any fuel, so we're going to go get some fuel. We also need to make our meteorite compass. What's the point of this if we can't find meteorites? Um, all right. Goes here. There. That goes there. Goes there. I'm going to grab two stacks, because I, oops, not three stacks. Two stacks, just because I don't know how much we're going to need. Now, we also need, that's all for that. We don't need any more from that. Let's switch over to Applied Energistics 2. 
And we need a meteorite compass. Four iron. I think it's a charge. Yep. And... Put that away, don't need it. And I'll put the other away, because I don't need it. One, two, three. The only downside with the compass is going to be that it actually is going to show us any and all. So if it's underground, there'll be a, we might not be able to get to it. But there we go. Compass. And you can see it actually does have a location straight ahead. Let's switch to it real quick. There you go. So it's that way we have one. So let's head outside. So we're going to go north. That's east. According to this, we want to go east. So, here, we'll drop in our fuel. Full C, actually, have two. We're going to mass and hit X. It says X will take us up. X will take us up. Hello? Ah, we are probably having a control setting issue. As always, it's a control setting issue. Um, I wonder if page up's good. No, it's not. Let's find the other one and we'll just remove it. Ender attack tool bindings. We're looking for X and Z, both are consumed. Here's one. Flans mod. We'll just use this there prior. That should fix that, and next should fix that. So we shouldn't have any. Okay, we still have a problem with the Z key. The X is now free, but the Z is not. There you go, zoom key. And we check, we should be free on both. We still aren't. Wow. Really? What else is holding it up? Man. Area special. Put that on control. Now... Are we free? We are. Okay, cool. Now let's see if we can get this thing to go up. Hmm. She don't have very much power. So that worked. I just can't get up or uh, down. How do we get off the ship? That's a better question. Um, Archimedes, dismount, descend, break, align, disassemble, backslash, disassemble. Oh, wait. Okay. No? Ooh, cool. That moved the mini map. Okay, so we need to move ship inventory to another key. We'll try. Uh, no, uh, no. Their home key. Okay, so now we should be able to open the interface and disassemble. Okay, cool. We're going to go ahead, just for the arguments, because we're already at 20 minutes, I'd like to get this thing in the air. I'll go ahead and turn this on. I hate doing this. Now I'm going to tear the whole ship apart. Or at least what I put into it. Um, 
air balloons. Bring in some more of those. I'm just going to reinforce the front of the ship with more balloons. Start there. And whatever you do in the front must be done to the back. An equal setting. One, two. Okay, assemble ship, mount ship, and we should be able to ascend. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I must have been caught in a tree. All right, we're up and we are moving. Isn't that awesome? So if we bring up our compass, I probably can mount that compass if I wanted to. So it says there's a meteorite this way. So now we can head off and go look for... Dun, dun, dun. We can go look for meteorites. That's awesome. I love it. That is perfect. Oh, so we just went over. No, I guess we changed chunks and it just went a little haywire. So it's saying that way. It's a little laggy, though. You'll notice it's kind of choppy. Okay, there's one right there. I should put, like, glass on the bottom of this. Alright, let's uh, descend. And then hit home. You can't get off the ship doing that. Oops, down. So I'll open that. I guess you have to hit the dis disassemble button. Oops. Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> that actually would have worked. I didn't even know that. I'm, I may do something about that. We'll see. Okay, right now we need to assemble the ship and get ready. Okay. So we're sort of on the ground at the moment. Yeah. And it said there was a meteor right in here somewhere. Whoops. Ah, quick sand. So somewhere in here. Was a meteorite. Hmm. 
donkeys. There it is. Okay. Right in here somewhere is a meteor. We will use the accelerator, uh, uh, the elevator down. The elevator? What do you mean? What do you mean the elevator? Well, the elevator would go much quicker if somebody had actually remembered to bring his excavator with me. It's alright. Hopefully we'll find what we need. Um, if we don't, I'll just keep looking. I think in order to clear a, man, a meteor, you have to actually completely destroy the meteor. This I'm not sure about. Okay. Switch over to that. Down we go. This, by the way, is not recommended. It's not the recommended way of digging in Minecraft. This is how you end up dying in lava. But I'm watching my counter. If I start getting close to the end, then I'll definitely be uh, <laughs> slowing down using the pickaxe. We should be getting close to that meteor, though. It should be right in this area. This is the right side. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I'm going to switch over to the pick. And we'll just finish drilling it down. I would have figured it'd be higher, but okay. I'm betting it's right where those uh, dirt was. That's what I'm betting. I'm betting it's right where that dirt was. This is getting awfully low. Especially for a meteorite to be hidden. But you never know, it could be here. There could be one down there. But it's also a chunk thing, too, so if I hit F9, yeah, so it's somewhere inside this chunk, which doesn't necessarily mean that I was in it. Let's get close. To begin with, I just need to be inside this chunk. And since these things can take up, well, they're not the size of a chunk, but they're pretty much the size of a chunk, I should have, if I go right at the center of this, I should have the best chance of hitting it. So, I go right, right about here. Actually, I should have the best chance of hitting it. 
So, try that again, shall we? Okay, so we'll just go down. Uh, leave the chunk on. Second, so I turn the chunk off for the moment. Now we're about centered on it, so we should, if we're going to find it, we should ram right into it. And I apologize once again, starting to run late. But we're going to stop once we find this meteorite. It should be right. I to throw away stuff. Um, well, we should have hit it. At this point, we should have hit it. This is definitely when you want to slow down. <laughs> These things tend to be the size of a chunk, though. They're pretty good size, so if I went down the center, I should have run right into it. I hear lava. I hear the lava. This is why I'm not using the sledge anymore. Because I knew we were, getting close to, uh, we we're getting close to lava, and I don't want to just drill right into it. Oops. Yeah, I hear it popping. We should have hit it by now. We haven't. We're at layer 9, we should have run into it. There's no way this is 9 high. It's this low, we'll just keep digging it down. Might as well. In fact, there's the uh, particles for bedrock I just saw. There, we will, we will not find it this low. We are now in the bedrock. So where is it? We have went all the way down to the bedrock, and it's not in the center of chunk. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to my next video will come back, and hopefully I'll find it and uh, be able to report my findings back to you. Um, but I'm going to stop it here because we're already at 34 minutes, and unfortunately we failed to find the meteorite. But we did build a ship, and it's kind of cool. So right now, for now, this is Simple Majority 20, or Simple Majority signing off. Have a great day.